This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, have lifestyle conversations. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my very interesting and amazing co anchor, Ife Omai. Hi. She can blush for Africa. <laughs> <laughs> how are you? Well, how are you? I'm good. I'm How's good. The it's been you? an easy Monday. Yeah. So. I think the weather mm. is still in my kind of like in my brain. Like I'm still cozy mm -hmm. type of thing. But I yeah. can't wait to cozy on after the show. I know. But um, so <laughs> let's start with Sheon Kuti. Um, Sheon Kuti worries about artists using his late father, Fela Kuti, as excuse to smoke. In his words, I think a lot of them grew up in Christian and Muslim homes, but use Fela as an excuse to smoke and chase girls. Yeah. yeah. I, this is a live that I missed, so I wish I had more information on what he was talking about. But I took to Twitter to go on so they can educate me a little bit. Mm -hmm. And Okay, when she said life that she missed, she meant Instagram live. Because I was beginning to <laughs> think you, right. you missed for last <laughs> life. Okay, yeah, so she you were not it. live on Instagram to yes, watch. Okay. Yes, Because mm -hmm. um, I wanted more insight on that. I think it would be crazy to think that your father hasn't influenced people to, to smoke, weed, to smoke especially. weed especially i think it's a culture it's a vibe it's and he's preached that and we in know every what way goes down in fella shrine exactly so he can't and fella was alive when all that was happening and he loved it so it would be crazy for him to think that there isn't as an excuse i don't think it's an excuse i think if somebody says that fella has inspired them to do that or say fella has encouraged that like you say for snoop dogg or for wiz khalifa or like you know people like that i think then he'll be he's dreaming um but i think he was also trying to insinuate the idea that people can misinterpret fella's legacy legacy and use it as a means to be a nuisance and i say that a lot of the times i don't think fella was a nuisance yes he was definitely a 420 guy like a high guy but i think he wasn't a nuisance i think he used um he had a very fine way of putting that balance between like being a vibe but also mm. really being accountable and responsible i think the later part of what you said is what i totally agree with i i i i, I know that he can be used as an excuse in the term of excuse because when you want to be a nuisance in mm -hmm. your life already you can <laughs> easily say yeah fella did this fella did mm. that he smoked he had women i'm also doing it but you cannot begin to misconstrue his legacy or basically just take the bad part and forget about the good part. Yeah. I mean, he was an advocate for so many things, actually good governance, yeah. and he wasn't taking that for granted at all. I yeah. mean, he, he actually paid the price, right? So you cannot now single-handedly just remove smoking and chasing women and say that is what you decide to take away <laughs> from, from Fela. It's, yeah. it's just so ridiculous. But can he be used as an excuse to smoke? Absolutely. Yeah. He, fits, he fits that <laughs> excuse. Like, it's, it's working. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so yeah. I, I think I get him, which is why I also agree with you when you said it would have been nice if we were able to get a hold of the live video mm. to... Um, watch for ourselves yeah. and see the angle he took it yeah. from. But kudos to Sean Kuti. I mean, I think he's doing a whole lot. Yeah. We hear more of him than Femi. I don't know. Yeah. Femi, I think Femi is just enjoying his life uh, and retiring like, in yeah, peace. He, he, he like, cannot come and die for you people, I beg. His father has done enough. Because Sean Kuti sounds like someone that's making so much effort yeah. to speak for his father. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't think you can always do that 100% well for anyone, even mm. if the person is your father. And I think this is one of those cases where I'm like, yeah, maybe, you know, I think for love, been very okay. People wanted to smoke in his name or so with him, good. for him, and by him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. Okay, uh, moving on to the next story. R&B star Faith Evans has escaped prosecution in her felony domestic violence case. The hitmaker was taken into custody by Los Angeles police last month following an altercation with her husband, Stevie J, who was noted um, by officers as having visible marks and scratches on his face. Mm. She was um, charged with a felony, but authorities at the county um, have since decided not to pursue the claim because her alleged victim, who is supposed to be her husband, has declined to testify against his wife. As a result, the case against Evans has been officially closed. In 2018, she and Stevie got married 12 years after becoming collaborators in the studio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very, I don't know why you've been laughing. Yeah, this, this story... Um, <laughs> Speak up. 
<laughs> to be honest, <laughs> to be very honest, um, I I was kind of sad that he didn't. Um, he didn't speak up. Yes. Why? Personally. You were sad or happy? I was sad that he didn't okay, speak yeah, up. Okay, yeah. Because I, think, I mean, we encourage women to speak exactly. up. Exactly. So I, I will also do the same for men. I keep always arguing that. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's not really an argument per se, but I always keep saying that I know that there's more numbers of men who are assaulted. Um, Physically no, there, assaulted. There isn't more. But no, no, more numbers are than, than we than know. Reported. Yes, okay, cool. not as much as, not even quarter as much okay, as for cool. women. Yeah. But I think there's more numbers that are being reported. Definitely. And, um, and I hope that um, he isn't necessarily pr um, testifying against her because he has a part to play or he feels like maybe he triggered her. Not that he has this ego and he wants to leave, you know, have that, that face That definitely off. comes to play. Because you can't it, uh, take that out. You think so? You can't take that out. Because sometimes it could maybe, like, uh, what's their name? John, Johnny Depp. Maybe he's also not just a... Mm. Usually, uh, some relationships are just very toxic. They beat each other beat equally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then there are some that I know that these men are actually... Um, victims of sexual, mm. uh, sexual, physical assault. So I don't know what category this yeah, guy fits For me, into. I think that um, the, there is a win in this situation, regardless of how you look at it. It could be that they know that they can work on it and get better and she's truly remorseful because we've seen thousands of women take men back because they are remorseful. And at the end of the day, it, it kind of works out, right? Sometimes, he, he, yeah. yeah, deliberately, he, he de they deliberately make an effort to be better yeah. and they have a beautiful relationship thereafter. Especially when you are in an environment where the system actually she, works. Yeah. And you know, if you do it again, um, you're going in for it or you're going to lose a lot, you know? So I'm hoping that that is where it is coming, coming from, from and, not, right. and not from a place of him also being toxic or him trying to protect his ego. Yeah. You know, I, I, I really hope that it's not I hope so too. Um, um, those two. And I, I love them together. I mean, it's not, like, it's not like I crush over them, but I'm happy they are together and I would love for them to work it out. Yeah. And whatever it is, whether it is um, uh, the woman now, which is Faith, I hope that she can control her anger mm. because being able to give a man a visible mark, it means that you, you went a bit, you went too, far. A bit too yeah. far, right? So uh, that is not encouraged anywhere at yeah. all. Um, domestic violence or raising your hands against anybody, I, I'm not about, it has to be a woman. Yeah. Anybody, it is, it's not accepted. So you don't have the right to hit what anyone. What about the children? You know, that's <laughs> another <laughs> conversation Table. entirely. Well, we have a guest um, and I know she's around the corner, so... Tea time will continue right after this break with our guest.